Hi, my name is Aaron, and I am a herpetology keeper here at the ProMedica Museum of Natural History at the Toledo Zoo. Every morning we go through all of our exhibits. This morning what I did was I misted some of our exhibits. Working with uh, reptiles can be a bit tricky because some reptiles need more humidity than some of our other snakes, so you really have to know the species that you're working with. So misting the exhibits is very important for several reasons. Number one, it gives snakes an opportunity to drink. Sometimes it's more natural for them to drink off a leaf as it would be if they were outside in the rain. We also mist the exhibits to water the plants. Basically, we want all of our exhibits to be as natural as possible. That's why we like to give our snakes and plants a good misting every day. You saw Nick was behind me. He was my backup. It's always good to have someone there, another pair of eyes, also there to hand you tools. So that second person is very important. We weigh our animals here regularly. Looking at reptiles, it's kind of hard to gauge whether they're overweight or underweight. So that's why we try to weigh them regularly and adjust their food size, sometimes adjust their feeding schedules if we have to. After we weigh then we document them and we're able to see trends. It's also important because let's say a snake gained a lot of weight at one time. That might mean that the animal is gravid or that she could possibly have eggs or babies inside of her. So it's really important to maintain weights on these animals regularly. Humans shed their skin all the time. Snakes will shed it all at once, kind of like taking off a sock. And we pull the sheds out, not only to keep the exhibits looking tidy, but it's also to check the health of the snake. We want to make sure that the snakes shed their eye caps and their tail tips. Snakes don't have eyelids like we do. Instead, they have a tail called a spectacle that covers their eye. When the snake sheds, they will also shed that spectacle. We want to make sure that that spectacle on their eye is completely shed because if they're adhered to the eye, that means we have to tube the snake. We have to go in and remove that eye shed. Going back to misting, that's also very important because when you keep a snake hydrated, they're easily able to shed. So I started my zoo career by going to Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida. There's an AZA accredited zoo on the campus where you learn everything about being a zookeeper and you get to work with all of the animals and it's where you kind of do your internship. That's how I got my start and I worked at several different places. I worked at Clyde Killings Reptiland in Allenwood, PA and then I worked at the Naples Zoo in South Florida, the National Aquarium in Baltimore and now I'm here at the Toledo Zoo and I hope that this is my forever zoo. When I was working at Naples Zoo I worked with reptiles and small mammals. Uh, reptiles are my favorite because they are the most misunderstood animals on the face of the planet. My father was a biology teacher and I always had snakes and frogs turtles, spiders growing up as a kid. This zoo has one of the best collection of venomous snakes that I've ever seen. Being a part of that and being part of a team that takes care of these animals and breeds them, like breeding our baby king cobras, is a big thing for us. It gives me a lot of gratitude to be able to work with these animals and to be able to learn more about them because every day I learn something new about these animals. I also love talking to the public about reptiles. As I said before, they are the most misunderstood animals on the face of the planet. And a lot of times when I go up to a guest, they'll be like, ooh, snakes, I don't want to look at them. It's a great talking point because you can be like, hey, they're important for the environment. Do you know why? And even though they may seem scary, the more you learn about them, the less scary they really are. The number one rule is never give up. If you want to be a zookeeper, keep putting out those applications, check the AZA website, and I promise eventually you will become a zookeeper if your heart is really in it. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned a little bit about some reptiles and how we take care of them here at the Toledo Zoo. So come on out and see our collection, and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. And happy National Zookeeper Week.